Hello listeners and welcome to our English language program Daily Current Affairs Quiz. This is your RJ Priyanka and without any further delay we begin our today's episode with our very first question. So the first question for today's quiz is In which of the following city the B20 conference under the G20 dialogue forum was held? The correct answer for the question is C Kohima In Nagaland Kohima from April 4th to 6th the fourth and final B20 sessions organized in the northeast as part of the G20 dialogue forum for the global business community the B20 conference saw 64 overseas delegates from 29 countries the ministry of commerce and industry said Now let's move forward to question number 2. In place of Kane Williamson, who among the following was included in the Gujarat Titans team? The correct answer for the question is A. Dasun Chanaka. New Zealand's batter Kane Williamson's campaign in 2023 season of the IPL Indian Premier League was cut short as he has been ruled out of the tournament after sustaining a knee injury. Gujarat Titans named Sri Lankan all-rounder Dasun Chanaka as his replacement. Now let's move forward to our third question. Who will head the 14 member committee set up by the Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs to look into stalled real estate projects? The correct answer for the question is A. Amitabh Kant. The Union Housing and Urban Affairs Ministry has set up a 14 member committee headed by former Niti Aayog CEO Amitabh Kant to examine issues related to stalled real estate projects and recommend various ways for their completion. The committee will submit its report within 6 months from the date of its first meeting. Now let's move forward to question number 4. For salary account holders a premium payroll package was launched by which of the following bank the correct answer for the question is C Canara Bank Canara Bank has introduced premium payroll package for the salary account holders with competitive features the product has been designed to meet all banking requirements of salaried customers Now let's move forward to question number 5. India's GST revenue collection for the month of March 2023 so that dash. The correct answer for the question is B. Rupees 1.6 lakh crore. India's goods and services tax GST revenue collection for the month of March 2023 stood at rupees 1.6 lakh crore, which is 13% higher than the GST revenues in the same month of last year. It is for the fourth time in the current financial year that the gross GST collection has crossed rupees 1.5 lakh crore since the implementation of GST. Now let's move forward to question number 6. Who among the following is the chairperson of the GST Council in India? The correct answer for the question is C. Nirmala Sitaraman. The Union Finance Minister Shrimati Nirmala Sitaraman is the chairperson of the GST Council in India. The members of the council include the Union Finance Minister chairperson, the Union Minister of State Finance from the center. Each state can nominate a minister in charge of finance or taxation or any other minister as a member. Now let's move forward to question number 7. India and Sri Lanka conducted which of the following bilateral maritime exercise recently? The correct answer for the question is A. Slinex. The 10th edition of India and Sri Lanka bilateral maritime exercise Slinex 23 was held at Colombo from 3rd to 8th April 2023. The exercise was conducted in two phases, the harbor phase from 3 to 5th April 2023 followed by a sea phase from 6th to 8th April 2023. Now let's move forward to question number 8. The world's first liquid hydrogen powered ferry named Dash was launched by the Norled a Norwegian company. The correct answer for the question is D. MF Hydra. Norled a Norwegian company has successfully launched the world's first liquid hydrogen ferry. The MF Hydra is a hybrid vessel that uses both batteries and liquid hydrogen fuel cells. Now let's move forward to question number 9. Who among the following bags the 2023 Miami Open men's singles title? The correct answer for the question is A. Daniel Medvedev. 
Daniel Medvedev of Russia won his fourth title of the year in Miami Opens 2023, defeating Janik Sinner in a close final match. Medvedev, who was once ranked number one in the world, has now won 24 of his last 24 matches, including the prestigious Miami Open. Now let's move forward to the tenth and last question of today's quiz. Who won the 2023 Miami Open Women's Singles Title? The correct answer for the question is B. Petra Kvitova. 12 seeded Petra Kvitova won the Miami Open in her 13th appearance, beating 7th seeded Elena Rybakina with a marathon tiebreaker in a 7-6 by 14-6-2 victory. The 33-year-old Kvitova, 10 years older than her opponent, snapped Rybakina's 13th match-winning streak. So with this we have now come to an end of today's episode of Daily Current Affairs Quiz. Please stay tuned for more learning. This is your RJ Priyanka signing off for the day. Thank you.